For many years, Japan has depended on U.S. military imports. To this day, the country is still armed with mostly American machines, such as the Eagle F-15 and all domestic aircraft represented, for example, by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries or Kawasaki, are developed jointly with the same American companies. Thus, F-2A is in fact a licensed copy of the Fighting Falcon F-16 and Kai F-4EJ analog of Phantom II. F4. The fifth generation fighter would have been an excellent addition to Japanese aviation, but it was not possible to acquire a foreign model. This event, as well as the changing military and political situation in the Far East, forced the country to start developing its aircraft of the latest generation. And today we'll see what it has achieved. This is Military News. Let's go. The Mitsubishi X2 Shenshin, also known as the Soul or ATDX, is a fifth generation light fighter. The country of the rising sun announced the start of work on it back in 2004. The project is being designed by the Technical Design Institute TRDI, of the Ministry of Defense of Japan. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries is the main contractor. Over the next two years, the company produced a prototype on a 1-to-5 scale and began conducting the first tests, but work was soon suspended. At this time, the state was negotiating with the U.S. to purchase the F-22. However, in 2007, America still refused to lift the export ban on this model, fearing that its technology would be stolen. This was the impetus for such decisive action on the part of Japan and already in 2012, the assembly of a full-scale prototype, ATD, began. I'd like to point out, in creating this complex and costly project, the country was guided primarily not by commercial gain, but by the desire to keep up with other leading powers. The Shenzhen made its first flight on April 21, 2016. The aircraft took off from Nagoya Airfield and landed 26 minutes later at Gifu Airfield. The X-2 is an all-metal monoplane design with a mid-range diamond-shaped wing and V-shaped tail. The fighter is 14 meters long, 46 feet 6 inches, and has a wingspan of 9 meters, 29 feet 10 inches, comparable to the size of the Swedish Gripen. The aerodynamics are reminiscent of the Raptor F-22. The size and angle of the vertical plumage as well as the shape of the air intake of these machines are one might say identical. The Shenzhen prototype has a variety of low visibility technologies, including scattering geometric shapes and the use of radio absorbing materials. Thus, the hull is made of composite materials with the use of ceramics and silicon carbide. And the windshield of the cabin is covered with a special tin alloy. In addition to this, the multifunction RF sensor complex is installed. This is the so-called aircraft coating, consisting of many micro antennas that analyze the locator signal and create a counteraction and suppression signal. Thanks to these innovative solutions, the effective scattering area of the ATDX is larger than that of an insect, but smaller than that of an average-sized bird. Like other fifth-generation fighters, our hero today has an active phased array radar. It's being developed by Mitsubishi Electronics, a local large company. It claims that the radar can dynamically switch between the C and KU frequency bands and has built-in electronic warfare capabilities. Thus, the radar is in no way inferior to the American AN-APG-81. The evident advantage is the optical remote control system, Flyby Optics. It allows the transfer of large amounts of information at high speed over fiber optic cables. In addition, the system is not affected by electromagnetic pulses and ionizing radiation. The self-repairing flight control capability SRFCC technology has become the pride of Japanese engineers. It allows the aircraft to automatically detect failures or damage to various structural elements and adjust the operation to fully restore the aircraft's controllability. The prototypes will be equipped with export engines. Among the possible options, the French Schneckma M88-2, the same one used on the Rafale, or the Volvo Aero RM12, like the Swedish Gripen. 
Although most likely the choice will be made in favor of General Electric F404, which we've already seen on the Super Hornet FA18. In the future, the model will be installed with engines with vector control thrust of its production. They're now undergoing the stage of improvement. The company IHI, which is engaged in their creation, claims that these engines will provide a supersonic speed of Mach 2.25 and a range of nearly 3,000 kilometers, 1,800 miles. Information on Shenzhen armament is classified. Rumor has it that the fighter will be able to carry four air-to-air -air missiles and have two cannons in its armament. We can assume that it'll be domestic ASM-2B with a range of 180 kilometers or AAM-3 with a thermal seeker. The possibility of installing American Sidewinder missiles with a range of 18 kilometers is not ruled out. The same goes for the cannons. The Mitsubishi F-2, for example, uses 20 millimeter M61 Vulcan. Will the Japanese replace it with its design? One can only guess. It's worth mentioning that no money was spared on the creation of the X-2. The development program cost about 40 billion yen, or $364 million. A rough estimate is that one vehicle will cost over $110 million. By the way, Japan's budget is not rubbery, but now the country is actively looking for international partners and investors. Whether the X-2 will go into mass production is impossible to say for sure. Likely, the demand for such an expensive model will not be great. At the same time, the country still achieved its main goal, as the prototype passed successful test flights, which means that Japan became the owner of the latest generation fighter. In addition, the experience of creating the Shenzhen will help the state in the development of its next sixth generation fighter, the development of which is already underway. By the mid-2030s, the country of the rising sun is planning to buy about 100 copies under the serial designation F3. These novelties will replace the F2, which entered service in the early 2000s. The X2 shows a lot of promise. It has high maneuverability and low visibility. It boasts a powerful radar and the latest airborne systems. And in general, the country has presented a remarkable project, the development of which is very interesting to watch. Do you like this model? As always, leave your likes and comments under the video and subscribe to not miss the next review. See you again.